Is identifying celebrating milestones really important? Why or why not? Yes, it is so important. Um, I'm going to try to answer this question without revealing all of Trevor's secrets, but um, part one, to this, part one to this answer is yes, it's so important because when we hit milestones, it gives us motivation to change, like traction. We, it's like the snowball, you know, the snowball effect, it gets rolling and then, um, and then other things start falling into place and everything's so interconnected. That's why when we do well with eating, oftentimes we'll do better with exercise. We'll, we're just more aware because it really is all that out of frame connected. Um, and so getting a little bit of a milestone or a victory can motivate our brains um, for change, but then it also gives us hope. You know, if you've been stuck in a pattern for decades and you hit a milestone, you start to believe, I really can change. And we, we all know deep down into like the eight, 10 year mark of our journey that our thoughts control so much of what we do. And so reaching those milestones really triggers those thoughts to say, I can do this. I made it this far. Um, the part that I was going to like reveal some of your secrets is for the, not everybody knows, but Trevor and I are always communicating about like diet and eating. And so is Justin behind the camera, um, because we want to be aware of like healthy relationship with food. And so, um, uh, there's lots of times where it's like, I'm stuck. So if you're stuck and you haven't reached a milestone, that's where it's so important to figure out what's one little like baby thing. You can just bite size milestone that you can accomplish just to get yourself moving again. Um, and it's really incredible how that ends up working. And, I, and I'm sure if anybody's struggled with food or, um, alcohol or anything, when you do like hit a new number on a scale or you go a certain amount of days without drinking, um, that it gives you this new, um, encouragement. Yeah. As I think about this question, I think it really matters what the milestone is that we're celebrating. And, and we'll talk about some of the dangers in another question, but I, I think there are a lot of programs that get overly focused on a certain number of just simply the behavior, but there are many, many other milestones that I think are worth marking and then to make sure we're celebrating them, not just knowing, oh, it's okay, this happened. It's like, no, this, like, this is a really good thing. Uh, and I was writing down a couple of examples, like maybe noticing how much we've grown in a disagreement with our spouse that we don't get reactive and, you know, leave the room or blow up or make a rude comment. We're like, wow, that's, that's growth. Like that's a milestone. That's an achievement to, to note and celebrate. Like there's something happening here that now I'm, I'm excited about, or maybe it's recognizing in a part of our day, there's something we would typically have been dishonest about, or we would have typically um, created some deception around, but instead we're choosing to be vulnerable and honest and open. Like those are milestones that I think are worth marking, kind of noting and seeing this is something, I mean, that's when we travel, what is a milestone? It's to note growth. It's to note that we've made some progress. And so there are a lot of things about the journey that we could, that we could celebrate. Um, the other thing I find is helpful about celebrating milestones is if it helps us remember our why, not just, you know, keeping track of a number or um, how many days it's been, but being able to look at the, it's been this many days since I have been honoring my marriage. It's been this long since I've put my relationships first, that I've prioritized my health over avoidance. Uh, wh whatever kind of things come to mind for us when we think of our why, we want to celebrate those milestones of this is another season. Um, one of the thing I've thought of just because I've heard it from a lot of group members is when they go through a significant uh, season like the holidays or a summer vacation or a Mother's Day that maybe in the past they know this is every single year led to a relapse or to a train wreck or to a family argument. And if you can mark like, man, it's been two years since that's happened or this is the first Christmas where I haven't, you know, fill in the blank. Those are milestones. And even if it's the first one, it's like that's an achievement. That's something to mark and celebrate because you're able to see growth in your life and maybe in your relationships. Yeah. And I, I think what's so great about having milestones um, and being able to identify and celebrate them is that there are going, I promise you, there are going to be seasons in recovery that feel stagnant. There are going to be times where you feel like you're not making these huge leaps and bounds that maybe you were making in seasons past. And so to remember that these are encouragement tools that you can look back and be like, oh, no, 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 I have come a long way. Look how far I've come. Look at this thing and this thing and this thing that I've accomplished. And so in those moments, it helps us to keep our perspective headed in the right direction 
because when we are stagnant, it feels a lot easier to just turn back and go to where we've been before. So these can be extremely helpful tools when it comes to needing encouragement in those rough seasons. Yeah. And as you were saying that, Trevor, it made me think of, um, I mean, you recently got to listen to, I forget his name, the author of Atomic Habits. And I've been reading that book, that whole 1%. So sometimes if we're feeling a little discouraged or just getting going, it's not big milestones, but it's just each day we're striving to do a little bit better, be the good part of our brain um, a little more than we did yesterday. And, and even that can be a big deal. 